Bishop Ford High School served the Diocese of Brooklyn for over 50 years, and though it closed its doors this past summer, the traces of the school still linger, especially with the Bishop Lachlan High School boys varsity basketball team. The Fort Greene High School opened its doors to 113 transfer students from Bishop Ford, and three star players from the Falcons hoops team, Devin Dingle, Dior Dixon, and Israel Farrington have been welcomed to the Lions with open arms. Since the start of the school year, it went very well. I've been accepted by all the other kids, and it's like a family over here. All grades really bond together and welcome you and welcome the Ford students together. With open arms, this wasn't weird at all. They just woken us right in, felt right at home. I've made a lot of new friends here. Last year, these three players were instrumental in leading Bishop Ford to an appearance in the Class A Division City Championship. So that experience was crucial to these players succeeding at the double-A level. Once I knew that uh, we were getting the players, we were a little ecstatic. I mean, you know, we thought that we would have some senior uh, leadership, uh, knows what it takes to be in the finals. I said, knowing what I was, uh, what was going on to the next level and also what was going to be coming in, so I thought it was, it was, it was a great uh, opportunity for us to match. Yeah, that really helped. That helped our team chemistry here to help build the team. So we came together from Ford and we helped the kids from Lachlan because we have a young team here. And we had some senior leadership coming from them. So that was good. Every high school basketball team experiences turnover from year to year. But having these Bishop Ford players join the Lachlan team this year couldn't have come at a better time. The Lions finished the past two seasons as runner-ups in the city championship, led by guards Kadeen Carrington and Mike Williams. However, these players have moved on to play Division I college basketball so now it's up to the former Falcons to help fill the void. They assist the younger kids, which is great. That's what I need. There was a, a great balance, and that's what they bring to us right now, great balance. It all starts in practice. You have to lead in practice, then in a game it gets easy. As the schedule continues to get competitive, these players will rely on what they learned at Bishop Ford to guide them on the court. Leadership and playing together, sharing the ball. Like, you can't do it by yourself, and chemistry at Bishop Ford was very well. We don't, a lot of us don't know each other over here, but since summertime workouts, we've been building together, and we're getting stronger, stronger. We're starting off slow right now, but I think we'll pick it up today. Though this trio of players currently has the word Lions inscribed on their jerseys, one thing is certain, they'll always be Bishop Ford Falcons at heart. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.